Happy Halloween and welcome to the Ithaca Times, the Finger Lakes Community Newspapers News Roundup for the week. Um, our top story this week is the elections after um, outright lies and some campaign smears. Uh, Ithaca's own, <laughs> or Tompkins County's own Martha Robertson is up against Tom Reed of Corning for the 23rd Congressional District. Um, this week for the Ithaca Times cover story, we went to the Elmira debate, spoke with voters about what is important to them. Uh, we also scoured campaign finance records and found out how important PAC money is to Tom Reed. Uh, and Reed declined to answer questions from our reporters since we are extreme Ithaca liberals. Okay. The race between Reed and Robertson isn't the only one worth paying attention to as uh, Rick Wallace is up against Seth Peacock for the city court, ra city court judge race in Ithaca. Um, the race between Robertson and Reed isn't the only one worth paying attention to. Uh, the city court judgeship is up for grabs. Uh, incumbent Seth Peacock was appointed to fill Judge Judith Rossiter's shoes when she retired this spring. Uh, Rick Wallace, the contender, has gotten a lot of letters uh, and seems to have a lot of community support. In news from Dryden, uh, Athletic Director Brian Ford expressed some frustrations at the school board with New York State regulations for cheerleading. Uh, cheerleading is now recognized as a competitive event. Um, the tradition into something a little bit more athletic, a little bit more dangerous. They're looking for regulations from the state so that they can take this to the next level. However, the state has not come through with uh, the regulations so that coaches know exactly what they're supposed to be teaching and what the safety rules are. In the Groton Courier, we ran a story about two young architects in the making, uh, Gabe and Graham Morris. Are contenders in the Connexpert contest where they each constructed original game designs. Uh, the brothers are expecting to hear how they placed next week. In Candor, the school district's huge $21.5 million capital project is coming up for a vote on November 5th, the day after the general election. The project includes some security and technology updates as well as changes to parking and entrances to the schools. It's mostly covered by state aid, but they will have to uh, draw about $2 million from their reserves. Not a whole ton of news in Newfield this week, although it is worth noting that Jeffrey Wood, the man accused of shooting his dog, uh, was indicted in Tompkins County Court. That case is moving along. Uh, the dog, Lily, is in the care of the SPCA and is said to be recovering nicely, although she is permanently blind. In sports, soccer sectionals are wrapping up as sectional finals take place this week. In both the girl, boys and the girls bracket, the teams are the same, Lansing versus Elmira Notre Dame. For the boys, Lansing is hoping to seek revenge after falling to Elmira Notre Dame in the IAC championship two weeks ago. If you have an idea for something you'd like to see us cover, <laughs> email me, editor at ithacatimes.com. No, that's not me, that's Bill. Um, or me, uh, Glynis, editor at flcn.org. Uh, you can also click on the link uh, in the description below and check out our website. Be sure to tune in next week for more. Happy Halloween!